Dear viewers, you are most welcome to this English class and uh, today we have just uh, uh, selected a very important topic that is status of English language in our country. Uh, we are sometimes getting confused what will be the right answer, especially whenever students are asking me or asking any teacher, sir, what is the stat status of English in our country? We get confused. So, uh, what are the status there in a of a language in any country? Let's see. A language, maybe the first language, maybe the second language, maybe the foreign language, or maybe the common language that is lingua franca of any country. Besides that, there is a global language, international language, so, so many status are there. But we will discuss about these four status of English language and select one answer from them. What an answer will be answer of this question, okay, of this query. <clears throat> so let's go gradually one by one let's go to the first language what is first language and it's very common very uh, usual answer very normal answer is that uh, mother tongue or language of native speakers the language that uh, we learned actually after getting birth on this earth from mother from father from family right and that is our mother tongue and the language that is learned after getting birth in, in critical period of development of our life in childhood. At that period, the type of language that we learned actually that is called mother tongue or that is called the first language of that person. And this language is mostly inherited from our forefathers, from our parents, grandparents and so on. Okay, and then language is learned subconsciously without being conscious of situations because if I ask anyone how have you learned it Ami bhat khabo e kotha bilo kobe shikhecho ba karkas theke shikhecho nobody can tell it because uh, the time when he or she had learned the language learned the sentence probably he or she was not conscious enough to know or learn that language that's why English is not a first language in our country because English doesn't actually similarize with any of the characteristics of the first language. So let's go, one is crossed, that is English is not the first language of our country. Okay, let's go to the second language and the most probable answer, right? Second language. Second language this is very common. The first language is our mother tongue, that is Bangla, and the second language is English probably somebody's answer right then okay and in uh, some of the books i have already i have seen they have written english is the second language in our country but really english is the second language in our country let's see so what are the characteristics of second language let's see the first language first the first characteristics it's the it is mostly the official language it's mostly the official language of that country but one thing i want to uh, assert in that in our constitution, it is clearly written that English uh, is not the, uh, clearly written that Bangla is the only official language of our country. So there is no mention of English language in our constitution. So we cannot say English is our official language. But what is happening nowadays, uh, if uh, we divide official officials uh, be, uh, into two heads, one is uh, government uh, officials and another one is non-government officials. Then we will see that in government officials, our correspondence are mostly done in Bangla. But if we go for the uh, for the private officials and non-government officials, they are mostly actually they are using English language. So uh, there is no complete fulfillment of this condition in our country because we are not fully or completely using English as an official language in our country. Okay, let's go to the next condition, law, courts and constitutions. Yes, in our law courts, in our Supreme Court, we are using actually uh, English, right? Uh, but in the lower courts, actually judges and actually the lawyers, they are not giving their judgments and their conversations in that language, in English, in Bangla, probably they are doing everything in Bangla. Though in higher court, English is actually permitted there and the judges are giving their verdict in uh, English. 
So in our constitution, our constitution is mostly written in Bangla that it has been translated in English and in our constitution it is clearly written that in Bangla is the only official language of our country so there is no mention of any other languages apart from Bangla. So we cannot say that according to the constitution, according to the law and codes, we cannot say English is a second language in our country. Okay. <coughs> then economic activities. If you think about our economic activities, uh, whenever we are corresponding for the economic activities with other countries of the world, then we are doing it in English. But in our inward activities, mostly we are doing in Bangla. So we cannot fulfill the condition, fulfill uh, doing all these economic activities in our English language. So we cannot say that for uh, thinking about the correspondence or economic activities, we cannot say that English is a second language in our country. Then our mass media, think of our mass media, our mass media, radio, television, newspaper. In our radio, television and newspapers, actually all things are not going on in English. But a partial, uh, a partly, partly something that is uh, partly English news, uh, some English newspapers and uh, some uh, actually uh, there is some uh, uh, there is some things actually that uh, may be done or conducted in English conversations and so on but actually our mass media are not following are not completely following English as their language okay then think about our education medium of education medium of our education in Bangladesh is mostly Bangla though we have English medium schools and colleges in our country, right? They are actually following the rules and regulations syllabus of the foreign countries. So, if we actually reduce them from the education system of our country, mostly we are using Bangla. So, we are using, though uh, uh, few years we have started English version schools, English versions, right? But mostly we are Bangla, we are following Bangla medium education. So, all these conditions are not completely fulfilled uh, by English to be the second language of our country, but partially it can fulfill. So, we cannot completely say that English is the second language in our country. Okay, next go to the common language or lingua franca. Uh, common language that is actually used uh, for any specific purpose, right? Language spoken among speakers of other languages for what for any specific purpose like uh, business oriented mostly business mostly business this language is used because I want to I, w I would like to give one example that uh, actually the Japanese or the Chinese people they want to have their business in Bangladesh so the Japanese don't understand Bangla and the Bangli uh, the Bangla speaking people actually they don't know how to uh, they don't know about uh, Japanese or actually Mandarin or Chinese. So, how will they conduct their business? So, they will choose a language and probably that language is English because somehow uh, the people of our country and people of that country have the have somehow a similarity with that language, a familiarity with that language. So, they choose a language and probably English is the most common, common language all over the world and common language can be uh, headed by a global language also right so <clears throat> English we are not using English for any kind of this specific purpose as well okay and sometimes called the third language sometimes common language may be called the referred to as the third language so we cannot refer in so uh, and that is uh, in a common language also used for culture and religious purpose right? but we are not doing uh, any of food of this common language. Now let's go to the foreign language and probably the last uh, okay. and uh, you are actually thinking about uh, the answer as well because you get that. So let's see. Okay, foreign language, the language that is used after Maratha. Yes, we are using English after Maratha. Okay, and then the uh, learned after, learned for uh, studies, uh, studies and period. Right? Yes, of course we are studying English. Uh, we are learning English for our uh, education, for our uh, studies, as well as for our uh, for getting a good job, as well as okay? for going out for doing some other uh, uh, jobs, good jobs and jobs. Okay, so uh, we, we are good. And then students should have 
Yes, so grammar and vocabulary practice uh, as a single language, as a foreign language in our country. Okay. So we are doing the teachers as well as the students are uh, trying to be slowly to you know, about uh, grammar and vocabulary of this language. And we are just reversing our practice. And it is also a very compulsory subject uh, in our education system for about uh, for 12 years. Okay. So uh, we are fulfilling some of the conditions. These conditions of foreign language, uh, uh, we can then uh, say that English is a foreign language in our country. Can we or can't we? Okay, let's see. So the answer, the question is again: uh, English is the first language, second language, or foreign language, or common language in our country. So the among these two, there will be the answer: second language and foreign language. So we have to have a very clear answer about that. We cannot say English is the second language as well as the common language in our country. Don't say that. We have to choose one answer because there are four options. Okay. Then uh, we cannot choose it English is the second language because it does not fulfill all the conditions completely. And one most important thing is that in our constitution there is no mention of English as a second language in our country. So, English is absolutely not a second language in our country. It is a foreign language in our country. We have got the answer, but I think uh, English should be the second language. And English is advancing in such a way that near future English will be the second language. And I honestly request the government actually to announce English uh, to be the second language in our country. And it should be included in our constitution. The declaration should be included in our constitution as well. Okay. Uh, so that English should be given more importance. We are the Bangladesh, we love our uh, mother, mother tongue Bangla very much. We have fought for the, this language. We have actually this mother language today uh, as an international mother language. Our, our language today as an international mother language today. So we have actually uh, a lot of feelings for our language. I have found that this actually we should go for English as well just to uh, communicate with the uh, people all over the world just to uh, uh, give a good pace with all of them all over the world. So English should be declared as the second language. But now the answer is English is a foreign language in our country. So thank you very much. Thank you, my dear viewers.